So Idlewild is sort of everything. It's a high school, it's an art school, it's a boarding school. Idlewild is just a place where all these artists who just want to do their art come together. My favorite thing about being in Idlewild is that you're with 300 students from all over the world and everybody has their own story. <laughs> you know everybody's business. Everyone knows everything. I was into Carrie, and then like, <laughs> guy just rolls in and he's like, you know, whatever, like, we're dating now. That's Idlewild. Releve, balance, chasse into attitude, and then we're going to turn to the other side in attitude stretch and come back to the first side. Yes? One grand batma and a pique grand. Hey, I'm Juan, I'm 17, and I'm a dance major. For my future, I think that, um, like, I love dancing, and it's like, you know, when I'm sad, I dance, when I'm happy, I dance, like, it's the thing that I mostly love. Balancing school and rehearsals, it's been pretty tough. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? I just got done with class. Amit and I have been dating for four months now. We're actually celebrating our six month anniversary on my 18th birthday, which will be a lot of fun. And we're gonna be in Cabo together, so that'll be a good time. I'm excited to see like what plays we do this year. I wanna get a good park. I'm sure you would. Thank you. Last year we talked a lot backstage, we talked a lot out of shows. We were really good friends and this year we came really close and I don't know, I felt something, she did, so we just started dating. I'm like already kind of ready to just not work even though I have like college apps coming up. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like really excited for it because it's college, it's, it's a new thing, it's really exciting. But at the same time, you hear all this about college apps and like writing essays. And I started I mean, this summer. Yeah. Are you close to finishing any? I think I'll be fine with the process. But then there's auditioning and finding monologues and getting into schools. I hope we get to like work on a show together this year. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Hopefully we're not too busy. With I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last year, Michaeli, we were in our relationship. We like, actually uh, liked him at the same time. We did. Yeah. And we weren't even friends then. And we were like, that girl likes Juan. <laughs> no, she likes Juan. But Juan likes her. No, I heard Juan likes her. But you know, like, passed a little bit through the relationship. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna be me. And I think I'm homosexual, so. Yeah. Secretly, it was the second gay guy I've dated. There were people that are like, oh my God, Juan's gay. And they make, they used to make fun of like Michaeli. And when yeah. sometimes you'd be like, oh, like, your boyfriend's now gay. How do you feel about it? And then, you know, I also got hurt by it because it's like, well, what can I do if that's who I am, you know? That's okay. Cool. <laughs> it was a bad decision. I regret it. But at the <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. But Ouch. at the same time, Ouch. I really don't because he's like such a sweet person and we've become like, like best friends. So it's like, it's not like awkward at all. I started to feel really different from everyone. And when I tried to explain what I felt to people, they would, I feel that they would not understand me. That's when I was that I started to feel completely misunderstood, completely sad, and I did not want it to go to school because, you know, school was a daily struggle for me. And then I kind of felt that those were some symptoms of depression. It was not just only that I was sad or that I was being anxious or that I was feeling lonely. It was that I was literally not liking myself. I was completely quiet. You know, I, I, I became a very different person than what I was. I thought about committing suicide because I was like, well, this is not the life that I want to be living. I used to think that I was stupid, that I was good for nothing, that I was just a mistake, you know, that I did not deserve to be here or that I did not even want to be here. I needed so much help and that it was such a tough, hard part of my life. My name is 
Alice Sterling Butler. I'm 18 years old and I'm an inter arts and fashion major. I love myself. <laughs> Some people think too much. I am still here in the studio and I'm still trying to draw my pieces and I'm having, of course, having trouble with that. Guys, Will love it. Ask me to form all. Yeah, that'll be that. so cute. Yeah. Did he tell you that? Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> what about you, Andrew? I'm not going. Oh my god. Why? No, I don't see a point of going to Winter Formal. I mean, Winter Formal is already a theme. The theme they picked already this year, it's not really a theme. It's it's a stupid thing. No, it's is that why so you're not going? Because of the theme? No, but I'm yeah. dressing for the theme. Yeah, yeah I'm the dressing too. It's like dancing. You can party. dance. It's a party. You should come. Dance, dance, yeah. dance. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, are you going Chelsea? Chelsea. Oh. Oh. I don't know yet. Who do you want to go with? Yeah, who do you want to go with? Come on, girl. Well, like, I plan to like ask the thought out. But <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's not. Miguel, you should write her a song like F O R M A L. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Will you go to the <laughs> Wait, Sophie, has anyone asked you yet? No one's asked me. Uh, Wait, Fern, who did you ask? Yeah. Yeah, Fern. Ali said, did you tell Yes, I was there. Oh, yeah. I was doing all school. I was always like, how would be the best way for someone to ask you to formal? She's like, not during all school. She's like, that would be embarrassing. So Do you know your roles for Alice in Wonderland? No. The Cowboys is not out yet. It's like a week after they tell you, and it like kills you. Who do you guys want to be? I want to be either Alice or the White Rabbit, probably. I did audition for Alice. I was Alice in, in my preschool production of Alice in Wonderland. So oh, that would be really You look really like fun. exactly like how you would imagine Alice, Alice. in your mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. People shouldn't be judged by how they look or people shouldn't get roles by how they look. I feel like everyone should be given like like the same opportunity and like a chance to show their skills, their acting skills rather than like how they look, you know? Carrie, what do you want to be? I want to be I just want to be in it. Like, yeah. I, I'd be fine being any of the queens. Alice, I don't actually, I don't know. I auditioned once for Alice. There was a ton of people going out for Alice. I think I was expecting to audition be Alice, for that, everyone. but I didn't. Because I was expecting it here with any of the girls. Yeah. Alice, me. Yep. I did audition for Alice. Um, yeah, I originally uh, went for the role of Alice because, you know, it's the lead and why not. It's kind of competitive here. It's really stressful, the competition between the roles, because all of us live together and we're all friends, but there's still always like undertones of like, I want this role and you want this role. So Guys, the castle stuff. No! Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> the I live for fashion. I would die for fashion. I will do anything for fashion, honestly. I first started in being interested in fashion um, when I was like around 12 because of my mother. She loves fashion. I was mostly raised by my mother and my grandmother. And my father is a professional basketball player. He's played for Houston Rockets, Nuggets, um, Timberwolves. He, he used to come around once a year, I think, when I was younger. And he would send me presents for my birthday, he would call, he would send me Christmas presents. And it was, it was all right, but I, I always had like the feeling like, why is he not around? And then once I turned about 13, I think, he, everything just stopped, like no communication at all. When I was younger, he would deny that I was his child to his wife because when I was to get older, my sexuality started to develop a little bit more and I became like myself. And so after I heard that, I was like, you know what? I don't need to know anything else. Like, I don't wanna, because it's just gonna have so much weight on me and I don't think I need that. Stressed out and a little annoyed. Has anyone seen Drake and Simone? Oh, 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 oh. What are you? I'm just like waiting for the day 
I'm just gonna work as hard as I can. I always believe in working hard, you'll eventually get there. It's really good for me. 